Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a quick setup of my standard TN. This is a hand-stitched leather tee. Uh, she is on Instagram and has an Etsy shop. And um, it is a standard or narrow size traveler's notebook. I did get it with the front pocket and the back pocket and I opted for no uh, closure. So let's dive in. I have decorated this using the June kit uh, from Coco Daisy called Serengeti. So I just have a couple um, pieces of paper here just to kind of make the front cute and my leopard print ollie clip. The front is pretty uh, basic because I do kind of tend to move into this as the, you know, as it goes on. Um, I've only been carrying this for about a week, so I don't have too many papers <laughs> collected here. Um, but I just have like another journaling card and then this is just some note paper um, that was in the Coco Daisy kit. This front dashboard is actually a zipper pocket um, and inside it has my monthly insert and I am using a month on two page from Paper and Cats and it looks like this on a blank month. So I have all of 2020 in here and these tabs um, I made using tabs that I found on Amazon. And then um, jump banded to that insert is my expense tracker. So for June, it looks like this. This is from Printable Pineapple. They have a shop on Etsy. Um, I do have a fluctuating bill tracker clipped in just to keep track of our bills that fluctuate, like how much they are, water, sewer, um, electric, that type of thing. And I use one side for miscellaneous expenses that we do, and the other pi this side is my bill tracker. Then this is the other side of that front dashboard of the zipper pocket. And this is actually in between the paper inside the zipper pocket. Um, I keep stamps and checks, return, um, address stickers for envelopes and whatnot in the middle of these two uh, pieces of paper. So it's private, uh, functional, and pretty. <laughs> uh, the next uh, elastic that I have is wrapped around a Foxy Fix dashboard. And it houses my weekly planning. I have both a week on one page insert and a uh, workout tracker insert inside this um, dashboard. Again, just some cute, more cute things from the kit and in case of emergency card that I made in Word. And um, this insert is from Paper and Cats. It's the digital version. So I did uh, purchase, print, cut, and fold all at home. Um, and it goes from May to August. So what I did was because I moved into this last week, um, the last week of May, I actually did go in and back plan using leftover stickers that I have. I majority use Planner Kate stickers, um, so it was pretty easy for me to do that because a lot of her colors coordinate. Um, so I did back plan, and I can show you this is what the insert looks like. And I share all my weekly spreads on my Instagram page. Um, I just take the time to go ahead and blur any private information. So if you're curious as to what my weekly spreads look like, I invite you to come follow me on Instagram where I am also a little more active as well. Um, and then jump band to my weekly planning insert is my fitness tracker or workout tracker. And this is from Annie Plans. And again, um, I did start using it last week. So this is what it looks like um, last week. And I just journal, I'm doing the Tone It Up Summer Tone Up program. So it's a six week program. This was the third week of it. Um, and I just keep a journal of what I have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, um, and what the workout was for the day. I track my water and then like what my ring count was over here. Um, and then a few wellness habits that I track and some food intake over here that I keep track of. So that was this, that was last week. And then this is what this week it looks like. And I do use matching sticker kits or the matching stickers from the planner cake kits. So they coordinate with my week on one page. And I have enough weeks for the rest of the summer tone up program. Then back here, I just have a color coded workout tracker that I started at the beginning of the year that I do keep up with. Um, and then I have a mind sweep and weekly review card that I use every time I go to proper week or if I wanna spend some time in my planner and see what kind of things I need to pay attention to. 
Then on this next elastic is just a craft folder that I think I got off of Amazon. It might've come in a pack with this folder as well. Um, and I just have some extra Coco Daisy stickers clipped to it along with their pen that came in the kit. And this is what I kind of use instead of a back pocket. Um, sometimes I'm in a ring planner that has a back pocket. This doesn't have one, um, but any letter size papers folded three ways fit beautifully in here. So, and I have some weekly review planning from uh, Vienna. She has planner printables, some receipts I need to keep track of, and then again, just some cuteness from the Coco Daisy kit. Then on this last elastic, um, I have a couple different books in here. This is digital paper that I purchased off Etsy before Coco Daisy released their free printable. So I'm going to maybe switch this out with the Coco Daisy um, giraffe print. And the first insert that I have is a monthly tracker and this is from Paper and Cats. And it looks like this. And this is specifically for all things related to like home and chores and cleaning. So these are um, habits or tasks I like to try to do daily, things I like to touch on weekly, um, my monthly tasks, projects I may have that I want to do over the month, and then this usually fills up with miscellaneous um, household notes that we have. And then I have printed enough, again this was another digital, um, to go through the end of the year. So I have about seven months of that. And then banded to that is another wellness type insert and it is just my personal wellness tracker. I keep a tracker like this in any planner that I'm in. I just track my moods, my stress level, how much sleep I get, my headaches. Um, and then now I track when I wash my hair, have on press on nails, do a facial or petty, and then my monthly cycle is down here. So this is what it looks like blank. And again, I kind of share what this looks like completed um, over on my Instagram. Then I have this uh, Doc Grid Tomo River paper book from Paper Penguin Co. And this is like a reference book, if you will. Um, I just have a pocket on here to put some cuteness. And um, I have an inbox. I have some finances, HSA, information about my kids, podcasts, passwords, um, stuff for Red Aspen, Studio, Teamy, Tone It Up, all just kinds of things that I reference and are part of my life that I like to make notes. A lot of the information on here is sticky notes and um, stuff like that, but it's just nice to have everything kind of corralled in one page. And I have plenty of room in the back and then of course a test page, a test pen page because uh, this is Tomoe River paper, so you can get some smearing. So this was like this this pen instantly smeared, but after a minute and two minutes, there's no smearing at all. Then I just have some sticky notes, the back of this dashboard, and then again, just some decorative paper and useful paper and stickers that I use quite often. So that was it. Please let me know if you have any questions at all. Um, I love chatting about planners <laughs> and I'll uh, hopefully do a end of June flip so you can see how I've changed or progressed in my setup. Thanks guys.